Yeah, nice little reaction. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm Tied the ones on the kids earth, tied foam full of scissors. Tied the lesson they ain't lizard. Everything I got I is her. Three she getting his her. Roll a leaf over a swisher. Put my chick out, know I get crazy on that liquor. Papa Yer get out his body. Double lives I feel like Roddy. White boy we ride with Tommy. Scott I got that blue. Oh yeah, nice little reaction. Hold up, hold up. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I'll be nice. I ain't a dancer. Hold on, what's this? Come on now. <clears throat> but today's video is going to be most cruel cases on paternity court. Now, I decided to switch it up. No courtroom video today, but... Oh, shit. No courtroom video today, but trust me. We gonna hop into them too, but we gonna check out this video. Most cruel cases on maternity court. All hanging out, having a good time, drinking. The guy looked ugly. I mean, like him. It was the best sex of my life, I will admit that. Oh, shit. Y'all, do y'all know what time it is? Well, I, I gotta hear him say something first, so. I gotta hear him say something. But see, look, it look all y'all niggas, you know, you know, for a lot of y'all who be trying to say, um, you know, uh, what's that? Oh, a woman, woman don't get down on the first night. Or, you know, you gotta have a nice body. Or, woman gotta go after this or go after that. Bro, look, she just said he was ugg. She just said he was ugg, where it was the best she ever had. That's all it is. You get what I'm saying, man? Y'all, please get off the internet with all this BS, man. These topics about dating and relationships has gone phew, way out the window. When I first met her, I was like, yeah, I didn't. I wasn't really attracted to her or anything like that. And I'm like, I can't do that again. First, she's a married woman. Bro, woof. You see what happened? Yeah, bro. First time I came across her, I, ain't, I wasn't attracted to her, man. She wasn't my type, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, we ain't get, we ain't get along. Bruh. You know, too, she's ugly. I told you. I told you. So your mama lied to you for 34 years. What you gonna say to her years. now? Now you can, now you can. This case starts hot. As Miss Tucker calls Mrs. Riley this name as she gives her testimony. My son is married to a whore. I'm not a whore. Oh, I'm taking uh, police on a whore. You're the a same whore. as me. It's a nothing. whore. Let's. Get some order. Please. Hopefully had an affair numerous times, lived with a man, whatever. Um, has no clue who the father is, or we wouldn't be here today. There are so many shocking revelations in Mrs. Riley's counter to Mr. Riley's testimony. Well, we stayed together for three years. Um, we couldn't get pregnant. And, we just uh, take for Chelsea Pilton. He said we. Wait, wait, he said we? We stayed together for three years. Um, we couldn't get pregnant. He said we were together for two years, but we couldn't get pregnant. My boy, Jeff Bezos looking at him. Why the hell would you be pregnant? Come on, man. Please take him for Chelsea Pills when I got pregnant. Let me order offline to get pregnant. The beginning when we went to the ultrasound and him and my ex-boyfriend both went. He never met Wait a minute. He was there five months Wait a minute. You went to an ultrasound yes, appointment during your pregnancy? Miss Tucker 
and Mrs. Riley keep on it. attacking each other, causing Judge Larn to put them in their places. Mrs. Riley's testimony feels like lots of knife stabs as she keeps revealing shocking statements. You asked yes. Mr. Riley, your husband, if your boyfriend, and he who you laid out at the hotel with for two weeks, weeks, could come and stay because he didn't have anywhere to go. She lied. She lied. I she lied. lied. Damn. Yo, these situations be different, bro. You don't even be knowing what be going on half of the time. Like, a lot of these stories and situations, you be like, bro, how did she even come about? Like, hey, what? Can you say what's on? Mr. Riley, please tell me. You said no. Where the only car maker? Where is it? Man, I wish I could tell the truth, boy. Man, fuck it, I'm gonna tell the truth. I ain't say no, bro. I ain't say no, couldn't do it. Bro, little ass shoe. Couldn't do it, bro. Let's see what he say, y'all. Uh... In the world that has a, a fleet of well over a million cars on the road, fully. In I didn't. You left the boyfriend. They went to the casino and everything together. They yeah, I felt bad for him. She, she told me that he didn't have no place to go. And when it feels like that's the end, so? it turns out things were just well, getting started. Was. You slept with them both and in that time. Yeah, I will miss that because I was confused. Hello? I was confused at that time. I had my husband. I told you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mr. Riley, husband. were you aware that she was sleeping yes, with the boyfriend was. and you at the same time? Well, one night she'd sleep with him on the couch, and then the next, like, she'd be like, I'm with you, and then she'd sleep in the bed with me. <laughs> she was trying to shit to the game. She was getting the best of both worlds each and every day. So Monday she got him right here. Wednesday she got the other dude. Friday she got him. Yo, you gotta, yo, I love it, man. I love seeing all of it, man. And clap it up for the women, man. Clap it up. <laughs> Actually, and she, she ain't lie? Okay. So we can't say nothing. Okay. Having sex on the floor while he was at work. While he was at work, too. These revelations prove that everything is a mess. I haven't been in a relationship for four months. Because he texted you and told you not to. Four because months. of this I right okay. Now, the last time I heard, marriage was between a man and a woman, Ooh. not a man and a woman and a mother. So you really shouldn't have been in the relationship ever. I should still be able to have time. Oh, really? Yes, you were married when you got pregnant, too. Mr. Riley becomes emotional due to all this, and Judge Larn reacts this way. Are you all right, Mr. Riley? You seem emotional. I love you. Well, of course he does. That's fine. He's been with me since he was born. Who, 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 I didn't fall in love with child around. But see, that come from, from a whole bunch of stuff, though. The lack of not being careful, the lack of just wanting to have kids in a sense of lust, the lack of just, you know... Uh, having that mental fortitude of being in the moment, a lot of y'all bring that upon yourselves and see a lot of the time that kid be the best investment. So you know, you wanna keep the situation around or you don't wanna grow, you don't wanna grow up. Cause I get it. Sometimes, you know, parents think that, let's say if one party leave, like the dad get and leave cause it's toxic or the mom leave cause it's toxic. They don't want that child to grow with that one perception of how they're viewed due to the fact of what the other party might say. So you got some dads that might be like, no, your mom was an effed up person, man. She this and that. You feel what I'm saying? Then the mother, on the other hand, you know, oh, yeah, your dad did this and that. You know, he ain't want to come uh, be a part of your life. You know, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden he want to come back. So it's just a whole bunch of confusion. That's why you got to be careful, though, man. And to have your mom up here, though, bro, like, mom do look good, though. You feel what I'm saying? Mom do look good. I'll give it to her. But, what I'm, ah, too much. Which I've never got to say. Why are you here? You're so happy. So why are you here? He's so busy screaming back and forth, you don't understand. This man is standing here looking at. He ain't up to that child. Why no, 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 no. The bottom line is not only does he have the right to know whether or not That's he's right. the child's father, the child has a right to know if he's his father. The first DNA test result is revealed. These first results, as prepared by DNA Diagnostics, for Mr. Schaefer. Wow. Bruh. 
<laughs> yeah, bro. I hit, bro, I hit him the first night. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Hit it on the first night. In the case of Tucker versus Riley, when it comes to the paternity, let's go, baby boy. Month old, Bryson Riley. Mr. Schaefer, the man Mrs. Riley had a one night stand with, is not the father. Let's go, my boy! Let's go to the next result. Do you want to get the envelope, please? <laughs> <laughs> Second one is also revealed and proves the obvious. When it comes to four month old Bryson Riley, Mr. Riley, you are not. Damn! Mrs. Riley's reaction is unwarranted, and Judge Lauren chastises her for it. Okay. Help those people that Let's get some order. Mr. Riley, I know that was not the news you wanted to hear. He needs to come home with me. That's his kid. Miss Riley! Miss Riley! Miss Riley! Ms. Riley that mouth is not going to undo the damage you caused. You need to stand there. Ms. Owens calls Mr. Reigns some uncouth names because of this, and Mr. Reigns responds to the judge's question with this. So, Ms. Owens, why would he leave you when you were pregnant? Because he was a lying, cheating piece of trash. Oh! <laughs> Hell nah, he was a lying piece of trash, man. See now, nah, look, like my other video, my New York accent and my other accents, nah, but my my own, um, what's that? My southern accent? Hell nah, he man, he a lying piece of trash, man. Come on now, y'all can't say I ain't got it. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> say how you really feel. <laughs> um Mr. Reigns gets his testimony, and Ms. Owens admits to this. I was, I was uh, young back in those days. We were off and on. We were young, off and on, off and on. She, she got pregnant initially, we, and I married her because I was trying to do the right thing. She wanted to have a miscarriage. Again, after that, off and on, off and on, off and on. I got tired of it. It got old. And so uh, she always wanted to go back home, so I let her go back home. About three to four months, I get a letter from her. And that's saying she's pregnant. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I hate your luck. You know, I'm not with you. I haven't been with you. So, were, did, did you have any happy times? We had a few, not many. Mr. Reigns gives reasons for his doubt and even presents an exhibit. But Miss Owens yeah, says you know. it's a lie. She went home an awful lot. This is hard to believe, for me to believe that she was not cheating. I mean, we, again, here we are in court today over a child that's 27 years old and the timeline that we had up. Y'all don't realize he talked when his shit stuck to his, uh, stuck to his, um, his chest look. Yeah, so. Yeah, so you know the timeline between those, like, y'all look, y'all see how his shit stuck look. The whole time. But Miss Owens says it's a lie. She went home an awful lot. This is hard to believe for me to believe that she was not cheating. I mean, we, again, here we are in court today. Over soon be soon be So so wait a minute. You're saying the timeline doesn't add up in terms of when Ms. Rowe was conceived? Exactly. Jamie was born July 31st. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is when Claire says she's pregnant. No, uh, I got pregnant in October. This is when it's just a six day. So I left in August. Is when I left. Yeah. I was no longer. We broke up. I was no longer with her in August. Is your birthday July 31st, Ms. Rowe? Yes, Your Honor. But, Miss Owens, you don't agree with this timeline. No, I do not. I come home in October. He dropped me off at my parents and told them, do something with her. 
I cannot. That could have possibly been true. I mean, you were something to deal with. Miss Owens goes off on Mr. Reigns and says this is why she's certain he fathered her child. But what I'm saying is, if, if, <laughs> if you hadn't have been such a piece of crap, I wouldn't have been so hard to get along maybe, with. Maybe, maybe not. But now, hold on, but I want to understand this because, Mr. Reigns, if you are saying that it could be true that if she, that she was with you in October... And you brought her back to her parents and said, do something with her. If that was October, that's during the window of conception. I was gone in October. No, I know you this are for, not. I know this for a fact that I was gone. He was in not. October. Miss Owens expresses how she feels, and Judge Lauren comments this. As a mother, that's something you'd never forget. I wanted my daughter to have a father like I had growing up. She did not have that. Let's she had yeah. my father to help me raise her. It's Yo, why, why are you looking like that? Like, he, he looked like he he looked like he always up to something. He looked like one of them dudes that's always up to something. Like, did y'all see when he was pointing to like the little boy? He's like, you know, you know, you're a piece of work to deal with, right? Yeah. Like, like, why he look like that? Like, look at his face. Like, everything to the side. My father. To help me raise her. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's not fair. He has never, ever done anything for her. Wow. Wow. And the truth is, is hate really is just another form of love. When you hate somebody, the other side is that it's because you love them so much. I always tell people, when you're really done with somebody... That's indifference. And I have never loved anybody like that again. Was it your doubt or your hate that kept you from allowing your daughter to have a relationship with a ma with man that potentially could be her biological father? It was actually both. Right. That's what is becoming clear. Indirectly, you were using your daughter as a pawn right. to get back That's at right. Mr. Rain. That's right. So, Jamie, how has it been growing up not knowing definitively who your father is. Um. Take your time, honey. I know it's hard. Finally, the DNA test. Ah, fuck, man. All these fucking questions, and I'm. They go. Why is, why is everything to the side, bro? It's born. So, you know, Jamie. I wasn't there. Like, why is everything to the side? Estrazel proves that... In the case of Owens, Roe, versus Reigns, when it comes to 26-year-old Jamie Roe, Mr. Reigns, you are the father. Hey! Stop playing, Donald Trump looking at him. Ms. Lapine shares how she found out her father may not be her biological father and what she did afterward. We was at a family dinner and we was all just discussing how our parents was and then family members started saying that, well, you don't know if he's your dad or not because you don't look like your dad and he might not be your dad. Wait a minute, wait. You do ever heard of anything like this? No, Your Honor. Oh my goodness. I went to another family member and asked if this was true. And they just told me that this was not the time or place to talk about it and just shrugged it off. Mr. Lapine admits these heartbreaking events all occurred and may occur due to this paternity case and its result. Mr. Lapine. Yes, ma'am. For 30 years, all this time, you believe this young girl was your daughter. Yes, ma'am. And that being... Or <laughs> Bro, like Dracula, look. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Yo, tell me I'm like Dracula. Yo, tell tell me I'm lying. Tell me him right here don't look like Dracula. Hold on now, we're gonna go to another one. Y'all think I'm bullshit. Y'all think I'm bullshit. <laughs> Yo, God, come on, man. Come on, bruh. Oh, my God. For five years in jail, and it, it gets rough. 
four to five years in jail. Yes, ma'am. For unpaid child support. Yes, ma'am. For a young woman that calls you and then says, some family member told me you may not even be my biological father. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Lapine drops more heartbreaking revelations. When you get that phone call and she tells you a family member said that to her, do you go back in time to that, to those moments after you learned her mother was pregnant? I went all the way back. I thought about everything after that. What were your revelations? I counted back months. I'm like, wait a minute. There's a month or two here that I wasn't even down there and she's supposed to be pregnant at this time. You started doing some math and you felt like it didn't add up. Yes, ma'am. You said, well, the window of conception would have been around this time and... Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. This may or may not be mine. Ms. Lapine's sister provides an exhibit as proof that Ms. Lapine isn't her father's child. And here's what Ms. Lapine thinks about it. This is a picture we took last week of me, my dad, and my sister. And you feel like you strongly resemble your father. Right. Brandy. About to give me a little drink to pour up, y'all. 2.5, man. Look, got my little cup here right here. Got my little cup. Alright, let's go. He does not. Right. When you look at this picture, Brandy, what do you feel? I always thought that I just got my father's side of the jeans. I always thought, you know, I look like my mom, but I always thought I had my dad's attitude. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I always, I always thought that. Things couldn't be crueler than this. I would go to the courthouse and make them take it out of my paychecks all the time. They go back. Record 19, after record. They go back to 1998. Some spots in there that aren't there, was I was in jail. For unpaid child support. Yes, ma'am. And with a court date tomorrow, the stakes, they really can't be any higher. Because they could send you back to jail. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Lapine expresses how he feels about the last confession. So, Mr. Lapine, you have regrets. Yes, ma'am. Because you feel like you let your daughters down? I did let them down. And I'm sorry. I wish I'd never left. I wasn't worried about what their mom had to say. It just keeps getting crueler, as evidenced by Ms. Opera's testimony. What's that horror? Because every time Richard goes to jail, and not only do Brandy and Jennifer lose their father again, but also my four children. And to be clear, you all are in a relationship. 26 years. Yeah, 26 years. Ms. Jennifer Lapine, Ms. Lapine's sister, also expresses how she feels and why she submitted to paternity questioning as well. The, the lurking feeling still in the back of my mind, where were you? You know, why weren't you there? Would it have changed our childhood? You know, when things have made things different for us as we were growing up. I mean, yeah, you know, I can understand that for like a lot of kids who really grow up without certain parents or, you know, especially like they dad a lot of the time, they be feeling like, you know, they missed out on that structure, that leadership. And now sometimes that's what builds that resentment. A lot of the times, like I said, people make kids for a whole bunch of reasons. Reasons that could be off lust, reasons that could be like I just said in a moment thing, right? But a lot of the times, you know, when you miss out on that parent, you get that sense of doubt. And, you know, a lot of kids start to think like, damn, well, I wasn't good enough. They didn't want me here. So going through life on their own, a lot of the times, some of them do make it out good. Some do, you know, keep a good head on their shoulders, rekindle with their own. Well, not rekindle, but, you know, actually build a relationship with their parents down the line. Then some, they take it to the heart, man. Some feel like, I. Right, I don't want to talk. I don't want to make any bonds or whatever. Some might not understand the story that truly happened, so it's deep. I mean, I, I love your kids to death, Linda. I do, and I look at them as, as my brothers and sisters. They are your brother and sister. But in a way, I'm, I'm jealous of them because my dad raised them, but he didn't raise me. He wasn't there for me, but he was there for them. At the end of it all, the DNA test results reveal. Jennifer Lapine. Mr. Richard Lapine, you are her father. Hey! My son, Dracula. Ms. Lapine, Mr. Richard Lapine is not your biological father. Damn! 
<laughs> Yo, to be on national TV, buddy. This shit is hit. Like this, this, this shit is different, bro. Like that's so. Like that's that's it's in like I don't know, bro. That's just that's just so heartbreaking, bro. To find out that, especially when you build a bond with this person. That's why I hit the dudes even harder a lot of the times when they had a BB off a one night stand or something, and you know, or they had um they were just running wild and don't know you know who they um. You know, don't know who the uh, child really is or whatever. Don't know who the real baby mother is. Then they spend 10, 20, 30 years raising a child or whatever just to hide a child up there. And that was not their child. And that was not the child's father all along. Have a cat? Stop scooping cat Yo, litter with Little girl. Robot. The highest... Yo, y'all go get this strawberry mar strawberry lime margarita premix, man. Shit amazing. Break it self-cleaning litter box that removes the chore of scooping and helps you have a cleaner home. After your cat exits, litter robot automatically... <laughs> Ms. Love and Ms. Willis say this has been going on for 30 years, and Ms. Williams says it's a lie. Because I'm tired of Miss Karen Williams going around town telling people that my father fathered her child. And so how long has this been going on? I'm 35, so about 30 years. 30 years? All this time? All this time. And you just come into court today? Ms. Williams, have yeah. you been following them around, no. say? No, Your Honor, I do not know them. I met them in 94. What I've told is true, and this is his daughter. So you say that 1994 is the first time you laid eyes on yes. him? Yes. Ms. Williams gets her testimony revealing some juicy information. So when you were involved with their father, did you know he was involved with their mother? No. You no, didn't? I didn't. I didn't. She did. So, oh, she lied. No, I didn't even know he was married at the time I was involved with him. So you didn't know? So Ms. Williams, this is your daughter. Yes. Ms. Williams, how old are you? I'm 34. And Ms. Love, how old are you? 35. And Ms. Willis, how old are you? 33. Oh. Smack dab in the middle. Ms. Williams presents evidence to back up her claims, but Ms. Love and Ms. Willis dispute it. I thought I had someone. I was in love with them. So when you found out you were pregnant... What'd I just say? I thought I had someone I was in love with them. What'd I just say? Most of the kids or most of these situations come from lust. Come from straight lust. Or come out because they probably went to the bar, tried to be like me and get my favorite drink, had too damn much, and start wilding. That's why I say you gotta pull up, man. Not chug. Pull up, nigga. And then you told, told him. him. And what happened? And, and what? he came and picked me up, and we talked about it. And he did not say he wasn't the father. And he just said that, uh, you know, that congratulations to me, you know. To you? To me. Exactly. Wouldn't it be the father? Not the father. And, and, and I also have, Your Honor, evidence that he wrote in my yearbook, We Was Together. You did? Three days before his birthday. Let me see that evidence she's pointing. So this is what, Miss Williams, your... Mr. Willis wrote to me. Oh. I thought she was not a singer. Miss Stephanie testifies this, and Miss Love and Miss Willis revealed that a DNA test and child support payments were involved as well. I was told by my father who my father was. He came oh. to my house. Yes. I was about seven or eight, and he explained to me who he was. That's he was my father. He gave me his phone number. I mean, reluctantly, my mother didn't want me to call because when I did call, I was cursed out by, I don't know, I'm assuming it was their mother. Um, B, don't call here anymore. He's not your father. Mm. I was seven to eight years old. Did you ever hear anything about this phone call? No. No. As well as, no. They put him on child support. Ms. Love sheds more light on the DNA test and child support payments. What? The DNA test had already been done. Wait, there was a DNA oh, test? Wait, explain this to me. So when he was a truck driver, my dad didn't see his checks from... Yeah, they were direct deposit to the bank account. My mom did the balance of the, the banks and statements and all that. So what she noticed was money being taken out for child support. My dad went to find out what was going on. So when he found out it was child support for Miss Stephanie, he wanted to have a blood test done. Miss oh. Williams disputes these claims and says this is... So he was cracking that old shit. He wanted to have a blood test done. 
Miss Williams disputes these claims. He was cracking the old shit. My son behind that bitch shit like this. My son behind that bitch shit like this. My son behind that bitch shit like this. Woo! My son behind that bitch shit. What happened? But Ms. Willis says it isn't. I do not know anything of child support. You never received, received the assistance from the state? No. And you never received the child support? No. Oh. I was cut off of assistance when my test was taken, my attorney test was taken. What didn't you do? When I went there, they couldn't verify that he had been there. They told me to just do what I need to do. My daughter got scared. She threw up on me when they took the blood. So we had to catch the bus back home. So your concern is... Because you went to the facility, the yes, testing ma'am. facility, yes, Your Honor. but you never laid eyes on him. He was not present. Yes, Your Honor. What do you think happened? About 85, he came over in the summertime, him and a uh, uh, family member. And they were laughing and talking. And one family member said, that's my baby. And I said, oh, maybe someone else took the test. No. Things begin to get wild. As Miss Stephanie gives this testimony. I'm convinced because my mother has no reason to lie to me. And he came himself to me and explained that he was my father. Never. So lie. My father didn't even like I know me. I know what was said to me and where it was said and when it was. He never liked to be in the same right. place around him. How often did you see him after this conversation? Never. Never. Mr. Banks, another son of the potential father in question, gives his testimony. But Ms. Willis says this is why the point doesn't count. Do you believe that to be true? I mean, we talking about my dad. He was um, a possibility. You're saying to this court that your father slept around? Yes. A lot. Yes. Yes, I'm not the only one. The DNA test result is revealed. And Ms. Willis makes an insensitive comment that Judge Lauren calls around on. When it comes to 34-year-old mm-hmm. Stephanie Williams, mm-hmm. as to whether the deceased Andre Willis was her biological father, Mm -hmm. it has been determined by this court, Mm -hmm. Miss Stephanie Williams, Mr. Andre Willis, was not your father. Damn, and yo, dog, y'all. The reason I keep saying damn because once you find out all that, like once you find out, like the um the child is not yours, the parent is not yours. That's a whole nother searching within itself. Some people might not care, but then some people might have to go on that big ass search and be like, damn, like you know who is it? Who the like who the fuck is my father? Where the fuck he at? You get what I'm saying? Like yo, it's crazy, bro. And a lot of these, like I keep saying, a lot of these stories on how these people met is different, bro. They be having kids in these situations, bro. Damn, like I said, y'all gotta stop trying to be cool. You not me. You can't buy this and chuck the whole thing to the head, man. I said you gotta paw little by little, man. Y'all, we going through these situations because they not pawing up, man. They not pawing up, man. They chugging it, chugging the Patron, chugging the Hennessy, chugging the um the Margarita. They not they not pawing up, man. I told you, say your mama lied to you for 34 years. What you gonna say to her years. now? Now you can, now you can, now. 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 Yes, Let's Lana. first get some control. And before <laughs> Ms. Willis and Miss Love, before you plan your celebration, if you take a look across the aisle, I think there is room for a level of compassion. You all were blessed to know who your father was. Yeah. This young lady is only going off of what she was told. Alright, that's it. Y'all, let me zoom in back in. I hope y'all, ooh, I know y'all saw my good dance moves. But y'all, appreciate y'all for tuning in with me, man. Like I said, I'm going to switch the content up, make it very diverse. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. This was a good video. I'm going to definitely hop on more of these, but more than Jerry Springer, maybe Morgan Ram, Steve Wilkos, like that. Just for a little more entertaining. These are funny, especially when the nigga was like this the whole time. <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah, she, uh, you was a piece of work. I had to go. Like, like, bro, low ass chin. But what I'm saying is, though, man, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep gelling. Y'all know that already. I'm going to gel till I can't gel no more. I want y'all to start gelling with me. I need y'all to gel. Like, we gonna be a, it's going to be a gelling community. I need y'all to gel all day, just off any type of situation. You can even watch this video and gel off me while you watch it. You feel what I'm saying? But love y'all, I'm out, gang. You gonna turn up with your dogs or you going to turn up by yourself? You going to go get on your